Self-proclaimed interim president Juan Guaidó had finished presenting a plan for national recovery at Venezuela's Central University when he made a personal announcement. At this hour, special forces agents are at my home asking for my wife. Accompanied by diplomats, opposition leaders and the media, he rushed home. Residents told us the police agents on two motorcycles had been there, but had already left. I ordered the soldiers of this country not to intimidate us. Our pulses remained firm. We are speaking of the national plan while they were harassing my family because that's their modus operandi. The U.S. government has warned of severe consequences should anything happen to Guaido. Government supporters call it a cheap publicity stunt, opponents a useless attempt to intimidate them. And to add more drama to the day, the interior minister announced what he called a plot by mercenaries allegedly paid by the opposition to assassinate key politicians and members of the military. This, he says, in order to raise the level of upheaval in Venezuela. Las evidencias, análisis telefónico. The evidence, the telephone analysis and interrogations enabled us this morning to capture retired Colonel Osvaldo Garcia Palomo, known by his alias Aquiles, 54 years old, wanted for attempted assassination, treason, instigating an uprising, attacking military facilities. Earlier, Guaido had presented the opposition's plan for the nation, a roadmap for economic and political stability. The first priority, he said, is to obtain urgently needed humanitarian aid. And that could put the army and President Maduro in a dilemma. Neighboring Colombia and Brazil are offering to send the transition government food and medicine immediately. Now, now, I mean in the next few days, the next few weeks. So it's up to the armed forces, it's up to the military if they're going to allow that food and medicine to come through the border or if they're going to you know, keep supporting Maduro and block it. So they're going to have to choose between their families and their uh, leader, or at least their, what they call their president. So far, there are no signs that the military high command is planning to break with Maduro, who insists that he's the victim of an imperialist coup d'etat. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Caracas.